Hello everybody, welcome to Codable.com, part 2 of the episode on one to many relationships in Ruby on Rails. In part 2, now we resume from where we left off in part 1. We now need to link up the movies and the rentals tables in the database. Now how are they related? Each movie has many rentals but each rental pertains to exactly one movie. So this relationship has to be somehow uh, specified in the Rails framework. In the movie model we specify that each movie has many rentals. So a, a movie could be rented out many times. In the rental model, we specify that each rental belongs to one movie. So belongs to movie. That's what we specify. Include rentals as a resource. Next, we want to pull out a specific movie. Uh, we want to create a new uh, method. Uh, and in this method, we want to pull out a specific movie based on the parameter of the movie ID that's been passed to us from a form and instantiate an at movie instance variable and based on this movie, we want to build um, a rental model, a rental object. So that's what we're doing here. So we use rental.build, um, create a new file called new.html.erb, but this time in the rentals folder. And inside that, put some text that, uh, put some code that enables us to enter uh, rentals information. First, we specify which movie this rental is for that's uh, the at movie instance variable and the title of the movie um, next we specify a link to go back to the list of all movies uh, the earlier um, web page where we could enter movie information now we actually enter the code for the form where you can enter rental information uh, now that should be at rental we'll make that correction very soon there we correct it to at rental now the list of all movies that we have listed here, uh, there is no way to go from each movie to its corresponding rental. So for example, Star Wars. How do we go from Star Wars to a list of all Star Wars rentals? A good way is to add a link to the Star Wars movie name, which is what we'll do now. So in the form, the new.html.erb form for the movies, not the rentals, but the movies uh, surrounding the movie title we're going to create a link to um, item there as you can see and that will help us create a URL if you click on the URL you'll be taken to um, uh, the, the, the other new.html.erb form where you can enter information about the rentals for that particular movie so you can see we invoke the rentals controller the new action within the rentals controller and for the ID, we pass the movie ID here called the item dot ID. Now you can see links to each movie along the movie name. If you click on it, you'll be taken to another form where you can enter information about that particular movie's rentals, the borrowed on and returned on date and so on. But while we can enter the dates, we cannot really save it. As you can see here, here if, you, if you click on the create rental, it says action create could not be found for rentals controller. We need to do two things to make this happen. Number one, we need to specify the right kind of URL in the form for rental as you can do here. As you can see here, um, we uh, specify the action to be taken in this case, um, create and um, we pass the ID of the movie. Next, in the movies, in the, in the rentals controller, we create this new method called create that will enable us to grab the movie parameters um, from the form that we just created and also grab the rental movie rental parameters from the form and to build a new rental record based on the form parameters that we have managed to grab. We then save this uh, rental. If the rental is successfully saved, we, re we redirect the form to a new rental uh, form so that a fresh rental information can be entered. When creating this uh, redirect form, uh, redirect path, you need to specify the movie ID, otherwise the form will not work. And now if you enter the date information, it will save 
that date information in the database as you can verify here um, so we did manage to save that information for um, um, one particular movie that movie happens to be movie number four Star Wars as you can see the foreign key for that is also located in the rentals database over there as indicated but we still cannot view the rental information that has been saved in the database we cannot view that in the form to do that we need to create some extra code in the new .html.trb form for rentals uh, we first verify that the movie rentals uh, are not blank and if they are not blank then we go ahead and iterate through the list of all movies and we print out the borrowed on and returned on dates and there you can see that information over there you can see the dates on which the movie was borrowed and returned uh, there is a weird comma there in the bottom we are going to return to that if you click on another movie such as Schindler's List which does not have any rentals you still see a comma there we need to tackle two problems first we need to tackle the problem that we need to identify whether to display the list of movies or whether to display the text that says no rentals yet to do that um, just take a look at the if statement on the top in the middle um, at movie rentals dot blank instead of saying that we should uh, say some uh, you know what works is to say if at movie rentals exists so that seems to work better here if you click on Schindler's list you can see that there are no rentals there and it correctly displays the text no rentals yet for Schindler's list if you click on Star Wars, you do see some, red, but you also see that comma sign there. Basically, it indicates that there's an extra row that is not accounted for that is being returned by the query. We need to take care of that. I'm inserting some HTML for creating a table. And we still see the extra row over there now um, in the table as well. So there is an extra row that needs to be taken care of, and we're going to insert some code to make sure that we take care of that extra row. We insert an if statement here, basically saying that if the item dot borrowed on field is not empty, then we go ahead and display the item borrowed on information and returned on information. Okay, so here's the if statement, and now everything works fine. Uh, we want to say that if the item that's borrowed on, the borrowed on field of that item is not nil, um, then you want to display the the information about the item and if not you don't want to display it and that gives us a fully functional form so that's all for now uh, thanks a lot for watching this little screencast on how to create one to many relationships in Ruby on Rails the code and the PDF for uh, uh, associated with this uh, screencast are available at codable.com enjoy have a nice day